فوتبال کم کرد تو بیدش پرس کم زنده دعاهایی After being dormant for 50 years, in September 2021, the Cumbre Vieja volcano on the island of La Palma began erupting. Teams of volcanologists from around the world were invited to support the local observatory of Envolcan. One such team came from the University of Geneva, led by Associate Professor Luca Carichi. Apparently there was a, um, a seismic crisis that started in about 2017 and there were repeated earthquakes and a series of earthquakes, but then suddenly, in, within about two weeks ago, the earthquakes started to move shallower, and this signals that perhaps there is magma moving upward. So obviously the local authorities were, were um, alerted, and, uh, and the magma within two weeks reached the surface and started the, the eruption. And the eruption is really at the middle of villages. It destroyed already about 1,000 houses and properties. Fortunately, the population has not been affected. They, they managed to evacuate the region before the, the eruption even started. That is already a great achievement. There is a, a large group that is coordinated by the local Involcan to, uh, to understand what is going on during these sort of eruptions. So we have two main tasks in this, uh, in this sort of international task force. One is to understand where is the magma coming from, the second one is how fast does it, does it take to come up? And actually a third one is to determine, can we understand if this eruption is going to last another three months or is going to last another two weeks? To answer those questions, the scientists first study and sample the newly solidified lava and compare it to older lava flows from previous eruptions, all to better predict the evolution of the latest Cumbre Vieja eruption. The team is looking for scarce crystals, and when they eventually find one, that is worth celebrating. Oh! Oh! I win! I win! <laughs> <laughs> So we've come here to La Palma right at the last minute. Uh, the main aim for us is to do some, some sampling of the volcanic rocks that we have here. Things that you can see here that have fallen on the ground, small pieces and also larger uh, volcanic bombs which have, have fallen from the, from the crater that you can see here. And our aim really uh, is to use the crystals that we have contained within these volcanic rocks, normally sort of millimetre to centimetre sizes, to interrogate uh, the structure and the uh, chemistry of the volcanic plumbing system that underlies us here at La Palma. Uh, so we do that, um, we do that for a, a number of reasons. Firstly, that uh, from the chemistry of the, of the minerals that we contain within these rocks, we can try to reconstruct the pressures and temperatures, which we can equate to depth. And then we can really uh, understand how that fits in with, uh, with the geophysics um, and the earthquake record that we can see from the island that are recorded by the, uh, the Involcan Observatory. So this is really important to, to build up this picture of the subvolcanic structure. Magma at different um, compositions and they can have different elements that get preferentially added to the, the mineral structure at different pressures and temperatures. And we've developed a new way, um, a machine learning way to, to determine this and we hope to do that at La Palma here um, to help aid in figuring out where the magma is coming from, where it's resided in the crust um, and try helping figure out a little bit about what that means for the rest of the eruption. By studying the chemical composition of the current and historical lava flows, the volcanologists from the University of Geneva could calibrate the tools and methods they use to predict the intensity and duration. 